Yo, it's 5.30 in the morning right now. I'm at the gym, which is pretty uh, pretty forward for me. I haven't done this in a while. Push-ups and sit-ups. That's literally why I'm here. Look at all this equipment. I'm not utilizing any of that. I'm just doing push-ups and sit-ups and moving on with my day, but I can't do it at my apartment because we have all this furniture that just came in. So this morning I walked out of the apartment and I looked left. Now left is the direction I always go every morning. One, because this road is one way and goes left. But today, I decided to go right. Now this right here is my official rain skateboard. It doesn't matter if it gets wet or not. Now this skateboard has been beaten from hell to back and now it's my official rain skateboard. And to build one, you only need a few set ingredients. Now all you need is someone's old used board and ruined bearings. And that's it, everything else can survive underwater. Like trucks can last in water and be just fine, but bearings and board, once they're ruined, they're ruined. Oops, cops. This cop just flashed the sirens at me, so I'm gonna stay on the sidewalk. A little bit of frustration. It's hard to skate in the area that I live, which is kind of close to around here. It's like the heaviest part of Manhattan. It's right next to Times Square. That's why it's always so hard for me to find a spot to skate. But if you didn't see my Instagram story and all that stuff, we acquired a studio office up near Tribeca in the area where it's like a lot more empty, a lot less of the vehicles. The full plan is to have a flat rail in my office, maybe something else to skate, but there's a place right next to a basketball court where I'm gonna go to pretty much every single day and skate. I'm like waiting for that so much because I feel like I can't get enough skating in in a day unless I go to a skate park, but still. I'd rather skate a flat bar by myself with maybe like a friend or two rather than a skate park where there's a million people and you kind of have to wait your turn. My freaking hat. Oh my God, please. I don't see it. Ah! Goodbye, hat. Okay, I'm admitting defeat. I, I, yep. You thought nobody loved me anymore. You thought no one was sending me boxes anymore, but oh. Hey. Sorry, I just realized as soon as I sat down how tired I was. Full disclosure, uh, we have been working really hard the last two days to get this apartment set up and we're also going to get the studio. So we've been like ordering product and doing all this crazy stuff, but I haven't vlogged in two days. And it might seem confusing because you saw me work out this morning, but that was actually two days ago. And since then I've been waking up at 5 a.m. every single day. So three days total. I wake up at 5 a.m. now, that, that's like a thing that I do. So I get a lot of the day in before now. So, so yeah, 11.33, that means I've been awake for six and a half hours. I am on a full productivity train right now and I'm not ever gonna stop whatever today we got a box from blue tile skate shop my first sponsor ever and I am beyond excited and I don't know what's in it one because sometimes he surprises me and two because I have a horrible memory so let's get to it blue tile is a skate shop so try to guess from this survey what I got in this box give you like five seconds all right and now we're gonna find out okay are you saucing me right now? Oh my gosh, Father Dave Tool, who is the Blue Style guy, hooked it up fat. First of all, I gotta share this note on the box. Dre and I wanted to say hi since Dave hogs the spotlight and want, won't let us speak. Those are two of his employees, so yeah, I guess Dave keeps them as slaves, I don't know. Dear John, you're my favorite, don't tell Dale. All the best, love, Blue Towel. Comment, like, subscribe. Aww. 
So what I see so far is a piece of paper at the top, but I see shoes, okay guys? Right off the bat, he sent a shirt from the skate shop Blue Tile. Oh my gosh, slap it in. I think it is a collaboration with someone, but it is a really, really cool shirt. It's a nun holding a skateboard because apparently nuns love to do that. So soft and cuddly. And then there's another shirt, of course, a blue towel with a guy thinking on it like, wow. Never go to college? Oh my God. That is quite legit, my friends, quite legit. And then, you know, we got the La Twilla Le de Blue. This is a very, very classic. If you follow my channel for a long time, I used to skate boards with this graphic on it all the time. And now it is here to lie upon thine chesticles. Now for the two pairs of shoes, I'm really stoked on this. He sent me two pairs of freaking skate shoes, which by the way, I don't get free shoes, so that's nice. I guess I do get free shoes, actually. I usually end up skating a lot of Vans and Adidas on my channel, I just in real life, I don't, on my channel. So starting off with these Vans right here, they're the Gilbert Crockett size 10, which Gilbert Crockett East Coast, what's up, what's up? And as we open this, you guys always get the first look, that's sort of my code for all shoes. What do they look like, what color are they? I can see on the side. Gunmetal slash gum, oh my badass. Oh my. <laughs> Dave Tool, man, I, I just thank you, my dude. I just thank you. You can see that this is canvas right here, then it has this suede lining, which I've actually never seen this on a shoe before. The way that it goes up like this and around the front, it looks, um, it's like new and, and very pretty. And also I tear up my shoes right here when I do switch heels and heel flips. So booyah kasha masha, I got that suede to cover up the shoe and make it last longer. I am beyond stoked. And then that's where I have the shoes that I've never skated before. New Balances. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I already opened it before I showed you guys, so sorry I got the first look, but these blue Shuma Deluxe Magazine. This is so strange. This is so strange because Sarah is vlogging in the other room. Hold on. You don't say. We are the worst people ever, but you can see the designs of the shoes are crazy. This one where you flick kickflips and stuff has this, this strange patch I've never seen before, but any innovation in a shoe company gets me so dabathon. Makes me so happy is what I really meant to say. And it also has this thing on the front of the shoe that makes it last longer. It actually doubles up on that weird gum wraparound thing. Huge shout out to Blue Tile Skate Shop for hooking it up. A fact, I appreciate it like crazy, but if you guys wanna see this stuff, link in the description, of course, Blue Tile Skate Shop. And if you type in HillFam20 when buying any Blue Tile specific product, not like the New Balance and Vans, it has to be like a Blue Tile product, the Blue Tile shirts, etc. then you get 20% off. But if you do buy shoes or any kind of product from a different company, then you can get a free shirt, a free Blue Tile shirt. Anyways, I just got here, but it's starting to dry up outside, so let's get another session in. Now this floor is mostly wet, but the reason I'm here is to start the conversation. There's a lot of tricks that are just really stupid and a lot of people don't take the time to learn, but today I'm here to try to learn those stupid tricks because I believe that those can spark creativity for tricks that are actually maybe a little cooler. So regardless of how ugly and stupid the tricks look, I want to try to learn something new or do something weird and just see where it goes, even if, yeah, you know, they're gonna be ridiculous. I'm so, so good at it. <laughs> 
All right, I'm gonna count my blessings and head out because that kickflip late flip thing, I never land tricks that fast ever. So I'm gonna count that as a, uh, boy, you good, you best get out of here and skedaddle before you fall. Oh my God, this whole waking up at 5 a.m. thing has got me exhausted, but feeling like I can get a million things done in one day. Because right now, after all of that, it is, 12. Oh my god, I just got an epic text from someone at BNH who says I could swing by and grab a bunch of stuff. Not to have, but to borrow for future video ideas. So stay tuned tomorrow. Here's a sneak peek. Oh my god, I'm so stoked. Anyways, I got so, so many fun videos to plan with these uh, camera equipments that I have never used before. But the subtle message I was trying to give at the beginning of this video where I was going the wrong direction and, and I took a right instead of a left was basically the idea of going the way that you feel uncomfortable going. It's actually why I precisely made this shirt. Hold on. That's why I made this shirt with a cute little monkey on the front. No, it's just an adorable monkey with a lighter. But then on the back, it's him burning down ships and it says, unfollow the masses. What's up? Now another sneak peek to come is I actually made a cartoon of the monkey. I literally made a cartoon. So uh, look out for that. And that leads me to a quote of the night by my boy, Ralph Waldo Emerson saying, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Like every article of clothing I make for Progress Daily, it's all a message for myself. It's all reminders for myself. I think it's important, at least for me, to make a conscious effort a lot of times to try to pick something that's different, a little more obscure, and maybe puts me in a weird position. Sometimes there are paths that obviously lead to something good, and there are paths that seem to lead to something less good, but if you don't actually know for certain, I think it's okay to explore the uncertain, uneasy paths. But I know that those uneasy paths are the only way to lead to something unique. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. I'm sure by the time you're watching this video, these shirts actually might be sold out, and I am sorry about that. I, I, I didn't gauge correctly how well these shirts would do, so I did a reorder. Hopefully that'll be in very, very soon, but keep up with my Instagram, most mostly. That is where I update very consistently with the product and stuff, and also click the link in the bio if you want to check out the products that I showcase in this video from Blue Tile. You can get uh, the, the Hill Fam 20 discount, or you can just buy the product and get a free shirt, but all the shoes and stuff that I'm showing off in the future, they're all gonna be stuff directly from Blue Tile because those guys are the dudes that hook me up fat. It's not Vans or Adidas or whatever, even though I think they're cool companies. Uh, Blue Tile just has, it's, it's a source for a lot of product because it's a skate shop, so they got everything if you wanna check it out. But regardless, I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your night. I am going to be working on another video. I'm going to B&H and about to hook on the new cameras, but it's too much stuff to put into one vlog because that's how it goes, but guys, Tune in tomorrow, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time a video goes up because it is every single day. Love you so much, progress daily, and keep going! <laughs>